Welcome back to Mafia 3. About to have an emotional attachment and or a sit down with, um, I don't know who we're going to have a sit down with, honestly. I don't remember what they said or if they even said it. But, uh, let's just hope I don't have to kill anyone because I have no adrenaline shots. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. God. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust hey, you. Hey, get the two. fuck out there, and there's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list, right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did in Knox. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so. Not pending on trial. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Fuck Cassandra's nice. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day to day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational. Greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey. Nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't okay. care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on precise. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, 
You destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. <laughs> what now? The map has additional missions available. Meet up with Donovan and continue going after Marcano or complete optional agenda and trafficking missions for your underbosses and lieutenants. Completing agenda and trafficking missions nets you extra cash and increases an underboss's loyalty. Press square on the map to select one of Donovan's missions or one of the optional agenda and trafficking missions. Racing! Earn vehicle customizations and cash. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now would be the perfect time for a, um, what you call it, a title screen, I feel like. Okay. You know, they said that there was going to be a lot of stuff on the map, but you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. It's a bunch of, um, I guess there's this stuff. Okay, which one do we want to go to first? Okay, first off, where am I? I'm over here. So I guess let's do this one. And then make our way over to the left. That makes sense. Because I think it makes sense in my head. Yeah, I know I have to U-turn. We're just gonna go this way and destroy flowers in our wake. It's fine. Nope, I don't do racing. Racing is stressful. I guess it's loading up everything now. All these optional missions. Okay. Oh wow, that was a tree. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a light post? I don't know how I managed to hit that. I don't think I'm gonna do the side missions, so we're not gonna worry about it. I don't feel like dealing with it, so. Uh, two, 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 two. Uh, two. Oh, almost, I almost thought I hit that thing again. <laughs> I was gonna be highly upset. That would've been extremely irritating. I want to put the radio on, but I just don't feel like dealing with those copyright. Even though it seems that most of the people have allowed their songs to play. But just in case- I've said this before. But just in case there's that one that just doesn't want their music, you know, uploaded. I'm not dealing with it. But granted, these songs are pretty old. So, I mean, they can't be too mad. It's like 2017. Half these songs are from like way before 2017 so it'll be fine but we're gonna meet with donovan get this mission out the way possibly and then we're gonna maybe do side quests i don't know i might also leave the side missions out because they're just that side missions they're not that necessary for survival so, we're not gonna record those. At least, I don't think I'm gonna record those. Maybe I would. I, I, I might record one or two. Maybe. Actually, I think I'm gonna record the first three and see how they are. And then use that to set the tempo for whether or not I'm gonna record more. I can never figure out, like, which way to go. You know, I realize I'm going the wrong way, but I'm gonna go down here. That seems to be where I need to go. Yep. They don't do a good job of differentiating if you're staying or taking the ramp to leave. They sh they can do better. They should do better, honestly. Makes my life easier. Because now I know where exactly we're going. Stop the car! Okay, let's go to this bar. I'm just kidding. We're waiting for him, as always. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid, 
Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. Smells like right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. The Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then. Hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano. And he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. <laughs> okay, I like stealing cars, not really. Smuggling so much. Hmm. The real question is, do I want to just get that out the way? Okay, what is this? Talk to Gina. I'm gonna go talk to Gina while we're here. Why not? Hey, don't honk the horn at me. I'm just trying to U-turn. Let me live my life, and you can live yours, and we can. Frank, a, ro a loyal lieutenant, blah, 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 etc., etc. Uh-huh. Cool, thank you. I feel like we're actually getting into, like, the actual game now. <laughs> All the other stuff is just, like, like the prologue to the actual game. And now we're in the real game. I feel like that's how it is. Uh, okay. Wait, hold on, what? This car just sounds disgusting. Well, you know, I can't just put my car- I'm not gonna just put my car there, so we're gonna... Oh, man, can I take this? I think I will, after we leave. <laughs> and it's gonna be my car! Ha 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 ha! Hey, over here! So you the scary motherfucker who gon' deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Shut it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Easton. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the car's going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. Mm, that'll be fine. Bring chopped up cars to drop points. Take them out and end his supply of new rides. Easier said. Ah, eh, it's probably easier said and easier done. But we're gonna take this car right here. It's mine. Thank you. Appreciate ya. Thank you for the vehicle. We're gonna scratch that, but it's fine. A little scratch won't kill it. Okay. Claim he was simply reacting to the recent wave of Just... on ride violence. Okay, we're gonna go kill that guy, I guess. Or rather, we're gonna go kill him in the next part. See y'all soon. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Share this video with all your friends. And remember, stay lit. Uh -huh.